this lady was asking for makeup that did not contain any lake dyes. What is a lake dye? A lake dye, that just has to do with the way that the dye particle itself is manufactured for use as a pigment. So you can have a dye where it's just the pigment particle itself, right? That is gonna be water soluble. That's gonna be easier to incorporate. It may also bleed. It may also have less longevity. However, if you incorporate something such as an aluminum salt onto the dye and you bind it, that is then when it turns into a lake because by binding the aluminum salt onto the dye in water, let's just assume, it's then gonna form a solid that comes to the bottom, kind of like in chemistry class when you'd like mix things and then form a solid at the bottom and you'd be like, oh my gosh, I got something and you'd have to weigh to see how much it was. That is essentially like the process of making a lake dye. So lake dyes are going to be a little more difficult to formulate with, but they're gonna last longer. And lake actually comes from the word uh, lack, like the root, of the word lac, which is the same root of the word that's used in lacquer. And lacquer is probably being used to describe lake, lake dyes, because lake dyes were used in the Renaissance and Baroque periods as the red on the velvet draperies and like the backgrounds and stuff. So red lake dyes were important and they got their moment during that. They were mixed with calcium salts such as bones. Fun fact. Not saying that lake dyes now are composed of bones because they're not, but I'm just giving you a little bit of art history while we're at it because that was my cognate in undergrad. Yeah, I don't know why she's afraid of lake dyes. It's literally just the chemical properties of the dye itself, the dye molecule. The dye molecule has a binder on it, so it lasts longer. And the binder is not toxic. So unless she has an allergy maybe, or she's a little eucapified in her mind, I... I don't really know why <laughs> she's afraid. There's no reason to be afraid of lake dyes. Similarly, one time I had a customer come in and bitch me out because I couldn't find a bronzer that didn't contain FD and C dyes. An FD and C dye has a pre-market approval requirement. It's a federal food, drug, and cosmetic act approved substance. She's, she's talking about red 40. That's what she's afraid of and trying to avoid in her makeup because Red 40 is an FD&C food dye. 